I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and welcome back to the channel. I have just spent a week in Sicily driving around this incredible island, making several stops along the way from Syracuse, Marzamimi, visiting Palermo, and Taramina. So stay tuned and I'll give you all the tips and highlights. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, press the red button below, ring that notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really appreciate your support. Let's start with the capital city of Palermo. Palermo is a city of over a million people in an island of just 5 million people. It is a gorgeous city. Palermo is full of tiny little alleys with beautiful photographic opportunities. There are amazing restaurants and wine bars as well because the wine here in Sicily is incredible. There is a beautiful opera house that you can visit and sometimes during the year they do have operas there. There is a huge shopping street as well and my suggestion to you is maybe spend two nights here. Maybe one on the way in so you can get over your jet lag and one on the way out. Here in Palermo be careful about driving. Here the stoplights and the lanes are sort of suggestions. It's a free-for-all here so be careful. My suggestion is if you want to drive around like we did then you pick up your car after you've visited Palermo. So once you pick up your car, you are headed out. You can go a couple of different ways. You can go north along the coast to the east side, or you can go south. I would suggest that you go north along the coast to Sheffaloo. Sheffaloo is a gorgeous town. It looks a little bit like uh, San Gimignano in Tuscany, and it has a beautiful beach as well. Here in Sheffaloo, you can do a little more shopping. There are lots and lots of tourists here. Also, be careful about staying in the heart of the Old Town as there isn't any parking. And parking was relatively expensive just outside of the Old Town. My suggestion is maybe stay in an agriturismo up in the hills where it's beautiful and then make the day in Sheffaloo and go to the beach and do a little shopping and a little eating. If you decide to go the opposite direction, then your first stop is going to be Agrigento. Agrigento is a couple hours away from Palermo and this is where you're going to find some beautiful Greek ruins. When you think of Athens with the Acropolis and all of that, that is what Agrigento has in store. So if you are a big archaeological ruin person, then you definitely need to go to Agrigento and spend a couple of days so you can see everything that it has to offer. So if you're going to come here and take a road trip or any kind of trip around Sicily, make sure to watch my video. That is No Before You Go, where I provide tips of what time of year to come, what the weather's like, where to go shopping, where to stay, how much things cost, and everything that you need to know. I just mentioned going to Agrigento, but we are going to continue this highlights tour of Sicily from the northern route. So after you go to Sheffaloo, again, just maybe one night, I would suggest that you go to Taramina. Taramina is probably where I would spend the most amount of days. If you are interested in a beautiful city, lots of shopping, delicious food, and some great beaches. They say that Taramina looks a little bit like Positano, and on the Amalfi Coast and it's gorgeous with its beaches along the bottom. There's even this Isola Bella which is this beautiful little cap island that is only available at low tide to walk across to. High tide you'd have to swim. Also in Terramina the actual old town is on top of the mountain. You can take a cable car up there for three euros or you can take your car or you can take a taxi up, up there. If you want to stay on the beach, you're gonna stay down below, but if you wanna stay up in town, there's some beautiful hotels up there as well. So on our highlights tour, it was relatively easy to book last minute hotels. We're here a little bit in the off season at the end of September, and it was relatively easy to book something for the next night because we weren't sure where we were gonna be. We were driving around, all of our stuff was in the car. It was very easy and we were very mobile. Speaking of the roads and driving around, the roads are pretty, I would say, really good. There was lots of highway. We did go along the coast, uh, the coastal road between Palermo and over to Messina. But other than that, we took the highway and we got around to every city within an hour to two hours. So I really think the best way to see Sicily is by your own car rental. After our time in Taromina, we took a day trip up to Mount Etna, the famous volcano on the east side of the island. 
It was about an hour and a half drive from Taumina, and it was crazy. We felt like we had landed on Mars. The topography changed completely to volcanic rock as we headed up the mountain. Once you get to the top, there is the main parking area, and we found it quite easy to park. Then we took the cable car up into the volcano. Well, not exactly into the volcano, but up to the top of the volcano. It was quite expensive, though. It was 50 euros for an adult. This is crazy cool up here at Edna. This area of Sicily is not only known for its volcano, it's known for the wineries grown on this volcanic soil. Our next stop on the way down was going to the winery called Murgo, famous for their sparkling wines. We showed up unannounced at their tasting room. Luckily, they had a spot for us for a delicious lunch. After a couple glasses of their delicious sparkling wine and a beautiful Sicilian lunch, we headed over to the tasting room to pick up a couple of bottles to go. Next stop is going to be Syracusa. Syracusa is also similar to Agrigento as it has gorgeous ruins, both Roman and Greek. If you like ruins and archeological sites, then perhaps you wanna stay two nights in Syracusa. If you are staying there, my suggestion is to stay very near the old town called Artesia, which is actually a little inlet or, or peninsula out into the sea. It is where you'll find all of the great restaurants. It's where you'll find the Duomo as well and where you'll find all of the major tourist sites except for the archaeological sites. For us, we just stayed one night and felt that was enough because we just wanted to pop over to the Greek theater and also spend the evening wandering around uh, the Duomo and the uh, center of the Old Town. We found the most amazing artist while we were there. She was so cute and she did our faces as well as a big show and she gave our, our pieces of art to us wrapped up like a diploma. It was the cutest thing I have ever seen. It was well worth the 10 euros in Syracuse to get our beautiful faces done. <laughs> now that we have left Syracuse, we went to this tiny little fishing village in the southeast corner of Sicily called Marzamemi. The town is only 300 people. There were several tourists there. There's not a lot to do. There are a couple of beaches, but it was a great way to relax and just enjoy. I promise you, the only thing that is there is a beautiful square in the center of town with about eight different restaurants. I had the most delicious mussels I have ever had in my life, and I'm sure they were caught that morning and brought to the restaurant. Also, some of the best coffee and pasta I had on the trip, and the best gelato I've had on this trip as well. I have left links in the description below for the different restaurants I tried where I had the mussels and the ice cream from Marzamemi, just so you have that information. We stayed there two nights. Do you need to stay there two nights? No, I would say one is enough, but we had done one day here, one day there, one day there. So it was great to just slow down and spend two nights in Marzamemi. The weather was starting to change and it's getting a little bit cooler here in Sicily. So we weren't spending a lot of time on the beach. What we decided to do was we decided to go to the interior to the UNESCO World Heritage Site, city of Ragusa. Ragusa was phenomenal. There are two parts to Ragusa. There's a new part, which is the Superiore and the old part, which is the Ibla. Just be prepared when you're going to Ragusa to wear really good walking shoes because where you have to park is at the bottom of the hill and Ibla, where you wanna see everything, including the Duomo and everything else is up at the top of the hill. It's about a 15 minute walk straight up. We spent the day there. There's plenty of shopping, plenty to do, lots of little restaurants. I did find the shopping more expensive than in Palermo or in Syracuse. So you might wanna be aware of that if you're looking for the typical tchotchkes, just something to note, but it was so beautiful spending the day in Ragusa. After two nights in Marzamemi, where we spent a day in Marzamemi and a day in Ragusa Ibla, we decided that it was time to head back to Palermo. Again, we were on the road for seven nights and that was probably a perfect amount of time for a highlights tour of Sicily. In addition to taking a road trip around Sicily, something that is an absolute highlight must do is going to the Igati 
archipelago. And the way to do it, you can take a ferry to each of these cities or these uh, islands, Favignana, Maritimo, Lovanzo. But I think the way to do it is take a week long catamaran from Palermo out to the islands and back. I chose a cabin charter with um, InterSail Club. They were phenomenal. It was a great time. I met several people, a couple of Italians, somebody from France, somebody from England. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal trip. And if you are interested in a cabin charter anywhere in the Mediterranean, my understanding is they have over 1,500 cabin charters around the world. I have left a link in the description below with a small discount if you use that link to book your InterSail Club catamaran trip. Oh, and yacht trips, that about sums up the highlights tour of my road trip around Sicily. If you have any recommendations or suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments below because I like to read them as well as everybody watching this video. I am Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I will see you very soon in some other Mediterranean gorgeous island. Bye now. Mwah. In this video is going to be telling you all the blah, 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 blah. go to several cathedrals. You, I don't even know what I'm talking about. That about sums up.